Hey guys, I'm here in San Francisco, California. And the reason I'm here is because I'm gonna try a maple bacon donut. That's what we're gonna do today. That's today's rich thing. Cause you know, it's like a $3.50 donut. So that qualifies as rich in my book. Anyways, it should be really yummy because you know, there's a big line. So I'm assuming their food is good. It's called the Dynamo Donut and Coffee Shop or something. So let's go try it. Do rich things all the time, everywhere. Las Vegas, Milan, Paris. All the time, everywhere. Las Vegas, Milan, Paris. I'm in line now, waiting. Hey guys, so change of plans. Apparently the guy that was right in front of me got the last maple glazed donut. I know, what luck. But I'm thinking it's a blessing in disguise. Because I asked the guy that was, you know, uh, the cashier guy, and he, and he told me, well, now you can try our second most famous donut, which is the passion fruit chocolate chip donut. And I was like, okay. I mean, that sounds pretty crazy. It sounds interesting. I've never even thought of combining those flavors. So I have it right here, and we're gonna try it together. I wanted to film myself eating it in the restaurant, but they wouldn't let me film. So we're gonna go to a park, and try it there. See you in a sec. I'm here at Dolores Park, which is also known as the Times Square for Millennials in San Francisco. Hey guys, so I made it here to Dolores Park to do our little taste testing of the passion fruit or whatever this is called. Okay. First, I'm gonna smell it. Mmm, it smells really good. Look at it. It does look delicious. Now I'm going to taste it. Well, I'm going to smell it like a fine wine. Mm. You know, it does smell like passion fruit or something fruity, tropical. And then the chocolate chips are right here. I can't really smell the chocolate chips and it's covered in some little bit of sugar. Okay, so now I'm going to do the taste test. Here it goes. Wow. It's like having some kind of tropical guava juice with chocolate and that soft, yummy, cloudy, doughy stuff that makes a donut so donutty. Look inside. It's like a little cloud of sweetness and yumminess. So I like it. I rate this very good. Supposedly all their stuff there is organic, so it's kind of healthy. Well, if a donut can be healthy, right? Anyways, now I want to do a taste test with with uh, something that we all have access to because you know this dynamo place I think it's only in San Francisco and the other like big cities maybe New York you know the fancy rich cities so I also wanted to do a taste test with Krispy Kreme because you know that's real America Krispy Kreme mass consumerism and I mean that's America so oh by the way this was three dollars this was I think a dollar ninety five with tax and everything so there's a significant price difference between organic and mass uh, produced sugary stuff. So now I'm gonna try the Krispy Kreme donut. This is just their number one selling donut, you know, the, 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 the glazed one. As you can see, it looks very um, normal. And I'm gonna taste it. Well, I'm gonna smell it. Mm. Oh, like a fine wine. Okay, now I'm gonna taste it. Mm. <laughs> Honestly, I like this one more. I guess I have no taste. But this one is just, I don't know. There's no, it tastes the way you think a donut is supposed to taste in your mind. I mean, come on, how can you really improve perfection? Normal donuts are fine. This one's cheaper too. This one tastes really good. They're both good. I can obviously tell that the bread of this one, the dough, is of a higher quality. It actually looks more like bread. Look, it's like really soft. And this chocolate, très magnifique, as the French would say. I really like this. This is the first donut I've had in like three years. And as you can see, this one, it's like much more, it's like less cloudy. Cloudy, I mean spongy. But it, it, I guess because it's so much more sugary, it tastes, um, I don't know, this tastes like donuts like when you were a kid. I think that's the advantage it has. Because you know, when you're a kid, you'll eat anything. 
this tastes like those type of donuts. So I think mentally, you make a connection to that and it tastes better. But I think ingredient wise, no doubt, this is better. Anyways guys, that's been my review of Krispy Kreme versus the Dynamo Passion Fruit Chocolate Chip Donut. Thanks for watching and uh, keep watching my channel, subscribe. I'll be making videos a lot. And I think I'm gonna be aiming to do rich things. I consider this a rich thing because a $3 donut is not cheap. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye. And do rich things, do rich things all the time, every